Okay, in this clip I'm going to show you how I made this shiny button graphic using Zara Extreme. So the first thing I'll do is I'll make a circle. Now I made a color, named a color, named it button. I use that for the fill with no outline. Now I'm going to Control K, clone that shape, change the color so we can see it, and uh, holding down the shift key, just make it a bit smaller. Clone that again, let's change the color, and like that. Now I'm going to select the blue, I'm going to bring it to the front. I'm going to apply a circular fill. I'm going to move the center up to the top. Down. Now the start point, I'm going to use my button color. I'm going to make it a tint. A bit lighter. And the end point, button color, but a uh, Shade darker. I'm going to just drag and drop the button color on the line here. So now we're getting a kind of a 3D coloring effect. I'm going to um, pull this further down. I'm going to put the another one here. And you can adjust the, the curve. All right, move it to the back. Now this orange one I'm gonna to move to the back for now. Now, okay, this blue one I'm gonna control C, copy the coloring. I wanna apply it to this green one, but if I just do a control shift A, you can still, you can see the shape, you can see an edge. I don't know how well it shows up on video, but you can see that there's a shape on top. But if we select them both and group them, and then apply Control Shift A, ungroup, it looks like one shape, even though there is another one on top. But it's blended in perfectly. So now we'll select the biggest circle, move it to the back. This orange one, I'm going to make it white. Apply a transparency, a linear transparency. And clone that. Make it the button color. Flip it vertically. Move it to the back. Move it up one. Um, Adjust the make some adjustments here. Do the same for the bottom one. Now there is a bit of a highlight or reflection here. Um, make a white with no outline. I'm going to align it in the middle. Hold it down the shift key. You can stretch it out both sides. Do a linear transparency. Now select that and uh, the smaller shape. Apply a clip view. Pressing the Q. Make some adjustments. Can even move it up a bit. And because we used the name color, we can 
change the color of the button without any doing without doing any extra work. And this one has an X, but we can just make an X. We can use a font or just create one. Rotate it 45 degrees, clone it, flip it. Now I'm going to convert those lines to a shape. Then I'm using Control 1, join them together. Position in the middle. I'm going to apply a bevel. I'm going to select the bevel and select the button color. Just to contrast the size of the bevel. You can fiddle around with it you want until it looks like the way you want it. That's pretty much it. Simple, looks good. There. Easy. Done. Now you can do it. Thanks for watching.